All right, and welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. Basically, for this one, I'm going to show you how to render out objects in wireframe using Maya Mental Ray. And basically, I just have a simple object right here, a sphere, and I'm going to show you how you can render your objects out with the wireframe option on and such. So without further ado, let's get started. So uh, I'll just create a new scene. And uh, for me, for myself really, I'm just going to create something really quick. So just bear with me on this polygon. I'll, maybe I'll create a helix. So I'm going to create one of those. That's pretty good. Uh, that's a good size. All right. So then, basically, now we're just going to smooth that out, give a nice look feature. Okay, so now for this, we want to render this out with the wireframes on. How do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to your hypershade, uh, assign this a surface shader. So click on your object, right click on the surface shader node, and assign material to selection. And it's going to turn it black. So. And uh, have no fear, because that's exactly what it's supposed to do. So then once you have done that, double click on the surface shader, click on out color, click on the little square box, go to mental ray, and then you're going to assign this an ambient occlusion. So now if you, I'm using the older version of Maya, so if your version is newer, then well, it'll be a little bit more different, but still same thing. So all right, samples for your ambient occlusion, beef that to 129. Then once you've done that, go to your surface shader again. Uh, then you're going to go to your input and output connections, and then go to the surface shader uh, node right here. And then you're going to go to this tab. And then you're going to enable contour under the contours tab, enable contour rendering. And what this is going to allow is allow for the re for allow for the wireframes to show up on your object. And here is the thickness of it, the width, a little high for my taste, probably go beef this, crank this down to about maybe 0.5. That seems, uh, that seems uh, good. So then once you have done that, then you're going to go to your um, ambient occlusion. And then for the color, we're going to maybe just make this a gray for now. Doesn't matter. So Okay, so that's pretty much it for that. So once you finish that, and then you're going to have to go into your uh, render settings. So let's uh, close this out. Go to your render settings. Make sure you are on Mental Ray. And if you don't have Mental Ray for any for some reason, all you need to do is go to your window, settings and preferences, plugin manager, and then just click on uh, Maya to Mental Ray, Maya to MR, Mental Ray, and then make sure those are load it and auto load and then it should show up. So go to your, your features, go down to contours. When you see this, enable contour rendering. Uh, over sample, make that a three box uh, filter type, just leave it a box filter for now. And then after go to your draw by property difference tab, click that down and then make sure you have these uh, clicked around silhouette coverage and all around poly faces. All right, then go to your common. Uh, you can set the quality to whatever you choose to, by whatever preference. I'm going to probably beef this up to 720 for the sake of, you know, a nice big screen to look at. All right. So once you have done that, that is pretty much it. So final results, go to your render and uh, see the magic unfold. Now keep in mind this will beef down, this will kind of crank up the wait time when you beef up the quality so and I have a slow computer I think it's only two gigs of RAM. Unfortunately for me I'm gonna have to wait a little longer if your computer is a little faster than mine then you won't have to wait as long. So, but And there you go. So pretty much it when it comes to the basic format of how to render out an object using wireframes in Maya Mental Ray. So, 
You would only preferably use this when you have to show off an object and you want to show off basically the poly and the you know and the wireframe. Just give it a bit more depth, you know, just give it a nice, you know, more unique look and whatnot. So but anyway, that is this tutorial. I hope you found it uh, helpful. And if any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you for watching and enjoy.